So we're going to take a look at individual motions, and we're going to say, is this strong, is this weak? Could we change this motion a little bit to make it a little stronger? Okay? So I'm trying to provide a little hints, thus provide a toolkit for you, that will improve your style. Not convert it to somebody else's style, not change it, although at the end we'll do some free thinking about what this, how we could use Wei Qi in different ways that, that are a little unusual. That's strong. Turn your hip up just a little bit. Ah, oh, that's strong. Drop that shoulder, touch your bottom. Okay. Each is strong, right? Okay, now you say you're blocking on this week. Well, here's what I want you to do. Think of, no, just think of throwing your fingers out toward him. No, this one. Yeah. But this was strong. Huh. So you can change yeah, which one's strong, but it's hard fingers. to split the energy. Ah. Okay. That was amazing. You want to change your fingers? Yeah. When you do your nukite, your spear hand, I don't care if you do the old Wei Chi fold and thumb, but don't let your thumb out. Bring your thumb to here. Uh, let me show you something about that. Hold on. Now put your thumb up. Stick it out that way. Now go right in between, right, right there. How does that feel? Much harder to focus. My yeah, it's hard. You either have to have your thumb really pressed out, which is stupid because you're going to clip your thumb, right? Or you have to have your thumb folded in, Japanese style or Weichi style. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. Okay. Am I right about that? Yeah. Right the outside? Yeah. Straight. Right yeah. That's why I'm here. <laughs> we found that his arms were real strong in this position, but when I pushed it, his stance was a little variable. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to do the same thing, but I just want you to tuck your bottom, but curve your shoulders forward. So now what happens is he's going to curve here, and I want you to have a slight curve here. So that means you don't stick your butt out, you curve your butt under, but you hunch like you're hugging a tree. Okay? How's that for stance stability? Stronger, isn't it? Okay, so now I want you to go back, not only to do this with a curved back, call this a C back, but also it's curved this way. But I also want you to do this now with the curved back and see if that's more stable in your arms. Guys, when you test this, when you curve your back, the tendency will be to let your hands sink in, force them out again. Not your elbows, your hands. So if they, you were here originally, right? Whether it's here or here, it doesn't matter. And you go like this, see how my hands approached each other? Push them back out. It's gonna feel awkward at first. You'll feel it up in here. But do that because otherwise you're testing a weaker position, even though they're back stronger, your arms are weaker, so nobody blocks in here, nobody strikes in here, because in weight you're not striking the center line, you tend to go peripheral, right? So if that's what I, we're trying to do, uh, you have to have your hands back up. So curve and then bring your hands back up. Go ahead. Slide back with your feet too, not just your hands. Now, when you do the one now hand, put the hand back. Now, I want you to hook this hand first and then slide back. Okay. And then decide if it's stronger or weaker. Actually, I felt stronger. Yes, it did. That's the two you test. Okay? Yes, I felt okay. stronger. Thank you. All right, now, here's an interesting little test. Do the same thing, the one that hooks first and drives back. Curve your back and pull back from your hips. Okay, and find out if that's stronger or weaker than the flat back. So in other words, this is what you just did. So now you're gonna do the same thing, curve your back. Okay, try it. Now, if I don't curve my back, two, I get a slack here. Yeah. Where my back is curved. Curve. Curve. I don't have to slack. Does that make sense? Yes. Uh, okay. If my back isn't curved, when I go to pull back, I get the your arms don't yeah. pull. Yeah. So I notice if, if I'm not. Right. So now it's more one unit. Yes. That's, That's the reason. Yeah. 
And that's, that's a principle called unified body motion. We don't realize it, but if you go like this, you're actually doing segmented body motion. Even though your body moves as a unit, your back moves and then your arms move. So it's segmented. It's really Thank you. Thank you. You turn your wrist over. You turned it over with this as the axis, right? Okay. Correct. Okay. Now, turn your wrist over. Now you turned it over with this as the axis. Turn your wrist over. Now the other way. Now you turned it over with this as the axis. There's three different turns. Oh, I get what you're saying so, now. So if I'm so here yes. and I turn with a center axis, which is what you guys showed me in the top, sure. you get this. If I turn with a thumb axis, I get this. If I turn with a little finger accent, I get axis, I get this, which is the worst. That makes sense. Okay? Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay, guys, now just for 30 seconds more, you do your block, you do your hook. Now I want you to just relax this knee, shoulder, and elbow. Don't pull them. What did I say to do? Relax what? Knee, shoulder, knee, and, elbow. shoulder and elbow. So here's what people do. And see what he does? He tenses up. No, I, he's still punchable. That's not a problem. But I want to relax my knee, shoulder, and elbow. Just let it go. You look at the difference. Do your knee up. And his toe is down. Okay? Now you can do this with both hands on you, but I just want you to be able to see this. Just hold your balance. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to push on this. A little spongy, right? Sure. Okay. Lift your toe up. Oh, huge difference. Mm -hmm. Okay. And engage right back in here. Okay. If you do it this way, with the toe down, the knee won't be, won't be as strong. If you do it with the toe up, now this is departing from Wei Chi lore. Wei Chi is always... Here you have the toe down, here you have the toe down, right? Now, I think there's a reason for it, but the reason cannot be leg stability. The Shokan hook. What if we had a different situation? We talked about a cross grip, we tried to off balance them. And this gentleman mentioned, well, I can block this as well and catch as I block, and that's absolutely right. Okay? Now, what if we talk about a different situation, but only change that a little bit? Okay? Let's say we have him grab this way. And I can still off balance and draw him in, right? But now, let's take this and exaggerate this. And I'm leveraging against my own hand. That makes you happy, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> 